Why, hello! Boils and ghouls? Uh, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Should watch some of that again. Welcome to our slightly spooky stream. Hi, Ron. You're already here. I think you're the little one here. That's okay. So, we're going to play something a little different today. We are going to be playing Gone Home. Uh, just to preface this, this is not a horror game. It is actually kind of a cute game. It is a bit spooky and atmospheric, though. So, it kind of fits the theme. And it's the closest thing to horror I will ever play. So we're just going to start that in a minute. Okay. Be just about ready to go. This game has a fair bit of voice acting, so I'm going to try to let you experience it as is. But I will be commenting on it. This game is actually a small indie game that came out and has probably been over half a decade now. Very, very good, and I'm really excited to revisit it. And I think you'll understand why as you keep watching. I had a save uh, file that I created so I could check the uh, sound and such. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get into it. I need you to tell me if you can hear everything. So there's no music today. Uh, I want to build a focus on this completely because it's atmospheric. There's also no on-screen chat. Uh, there's going to be voice acting in a moment. I want to know if you can still hear the voice. You can hear the voice acting well when I start it. Okay, it should be starting right about now. Or not. There we go. Which volume slider is the rain? Oh. It actually changes based on how close I am to the door. Okay, so we've been out at school. Since, well, I just go for quite a long time now uh, in Europe, and we're coming home to our family home where our parents and our, I believe, baby sister live. This is night. Oh, I can. Okay, I can sneak, it seems. So we're in Portland in on July 6th, 1995. Back with over here. My cup.
Oh, duck. Oh. E. I was probably... I was probably meant to, like, find that by it telling me that there it was there, but... Whatever. Oh, her name's Katie! That's funny. I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad scratched out. Anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. That's your baby sister. Got to bring my duck. Wait, can I bring my, my stuff in? No. Got to bring my duck. Duck. Put up with the duck. Wait. Oh, I can rotate it. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm the Christmas duck. Oh. I am possessed. Can I put you here? No. Please. Whatever. Close enough. Close the door. Read note. Directions to work from home. Travel time an hour and ten minutes. Ugh, that sucks. <laughs> I've done long travel times before. It's not fun. What is this? Over the Alps board game, a novel, novel traveling game for two to three players. Janice Greenbrier, senior conservationist, forestry service. Oh, okay. So, our mother is a forester, conservationist. Oh, that's just light. I'll stop hiding in the front hall closet. Stop making my other closet. Ooh. Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam. Uncle Harvey. Why is there always Uncle Harvey? Whoa. Okay. Holding shift zooms in. Today I learned. Lamp on. In here. Read letter. Uh, God, I'm not not really good at reading cursive. I think it's dear Jan for Janice, our mother. It's so good to hear from you again. All, all this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember that little dorm room we had freshman year, when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you didn't want a house in the middle of the woods. Look who got both! <laughs> Some, somebody up somebody up there likes you. I could not... I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. We just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? Let me know if you're. Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So, how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you, Rumi, Carol. So, there's no one home right now. I can tell you that just by like the basis of the game. And we have to figure out what, like, what the fuck happened to our family. Because they were supposed to be here.
The tombs of the tombs of you. Oh, so weird. Oh. Hi. How are you today? I don't know why I do that with everything that has a face of some sort. Caitlin Greenbrier, first place. Oh, that's us. Four years ago. Jamie Blum, Carla Jones, Shauna Rossi, Caitlin Greenbrier. We're a track and field person. That'll help us when we're running away from the monster. Kidding, there's no monster. Or is there? Now, this is... If you're not good with horror games, this is an okay game to watch, don't worry. It's just a little bit spooky. My urgent games like these is like to steal everything I can, but this is my house, so that does seem kind of pointless. You ever want to read about typewriters? Well, on the toilet, you totally can. Okay, I don't. I probably don't need to be going through medicine cabinet. Aha, I'm a nuisance. No, I'm kidding. Turn that off. I feel bad leaving that on. Actually, we don't need the light on in here. Save power. I do like having lots of lights on, though, usually. Whoa, I, always, I keep forgetting that shift is, uh, look. Yeah, no. Give me the marker. Grr. Worldwide timetable, domestic reservations, and national reservations. Katie's departure. Oh, you you've been we've been gone for like a year now, because this is uh, July of ninety four, and oh god, I gotta stop doing that. And our flight that we just took, which I assume is today, is June sixth. So we were gone for ten months. Hold on a second. Hold on. Duck. We'll walk with him. Duck, 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 duck. Oh. We can't hold a duck and open a door, apparently. I can assure you that if I had a duck and a door, I could deal with both of them at once. I'm very dexterous. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood calls. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Oh, God, so true. I was never allowed to have uh, consoles growing up, so that was, like, totally me being like, can I run play? I, w I want to play GTA. <laughs> Oh no.
Okay, so we had a sad day and we're calling our sister. Something about this is very unsettling. I don't know what, though. Anyways. Who? Actually, I'll keep it. Oh, map. Cool. Yeah. Better for a new day. Oh, just a bunch of shit that you need for school. Oh. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully in his home last night. I assume this is the, uh... His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as in spirit, the people of Boone County. Uh, so Terrence Greenbrier would be Terry, which would be our father. Paris. Hi, Mom, Dad, Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many... Pa Parisian things, including eating the Pete de Jou de, de Jun? and wear and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of films to develop when I get back. Then I'm going to bring you back something from Shakespeare, the Shakespeare, Shakespeare Book Company. You're my favorite sister. Aww. That just did someone hear voices? I just heard voices. That's not unsettling at all. The killing of JFK. This is very much a dad book. Unless we are father's area. <laughs> if JFK wasn't JFK. <laughs> Early, early space flight utopia. Okay, so I think based on this insane this insane board here, that either he's the conspiracy conspiracy person or he's writing a book. I think he's writing a book. I think this is his book, actually. An almond. What's his name? Maybe it's a, a, a pen name. Laser disc compact disc player, thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, this is a thousand dollars for a uh, MP3 player. Basically, an MP3 player that you can stick a CD in. Wow. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD slash CD player, LD? Light disc? Yeah, you'll be glad to know the Pioneer seems to, sh seems to share this particular... Okay, so he was doing some, like, ad work just to make money. That makes sense. I always do that first. Nope. Wait, what? False bottom. I need to address to our father. Oh, God. Uh. 
I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married. This is in 1972. That you, a wonderful young woman. I've had more than a little time to consider my past and my family. And my thoughts have often been on your development and welfare in the 10 years or more we, or since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill. I will understand something if you feel you can't accept this invitation. From Dean Manson. So this is the guy who died. Uh, so I guess this was the house we inherited from our uncle. Or from our father's uncle. So our, our grunkle. Great uncle. I don't see any secret passageway books. Electrical inspection. Wiring and house is technically up to safety and average requirements. Uh, multiple layers of wires have been added to the structure over the last hundred years. System system is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits. Wire circuited wires directly. Okay, so they're trying to say they're trying to give a reason for the atmospheric lights flickering. Oh, steady. This feels very spooky. This. God damn it. Ranger under my roof. Oh, they were struggling dealing with Sam, I assume. Parenting book on teens. Dear Terrence, so that's to our father. They would ask me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents non sequiturs from the usable copy without he heavy rewrites. The readers of home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age that would take half your rate to write this stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on to say so. You'd write him a nice thank you note for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Or what real books? Do you mean this? Or do you mean, like, the, the other book we found, too? Uh, doesn't seem to be a real book. A stranger on, under my roof does not seem to exist. At least according to good reads. Yeah. 
Eh. Eh. Ooh, note. The accidental patriarch? No. Villain? No. Ambassador? No. Saya? No. The occasional? No. Sometime? No. Unreliable? No. <laughs> the accidental prophet? Okay, so our father is struggling with with writing. A lot from the sounds of it. Uh oh god, I keep doing that. Or do any more. Yeah. Light. Killing of JFK theory. Let's see. Nope, not real. What if JFK wasn't JFK? Uh. Filling in by Benden. Bishop Gray. My father seems to be a very well-read man. Uh... 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 I can't move. One moment, please. I've never had a problem with this game before. Gonna relaunch it. We didn't exactly do much stuff besides listen to the uh, uh, answering machine stuff, so I'll just go do the same stuff we did again if it didn't save. Oh, this is where it's saved. I wasn't holding the duck anymore, though. Oh, combination. I don't have the combination for this. Maybe there's something important in there! What is this? John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars. Twinkling as if they were lying on the grass. Wait. Twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away. No. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home. But the future needed him. Mm. Not going to read the rest of it. <laughs> it's <laughs> something, something, bare knees, bare thighs, etc. I, I don't know what that was. I'm not reading it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Anything else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna pick up the uh, book here. I don't know if that matters. I read this. Okay, I just want the game to understand what I've done. Can I save? I can't save somehow. It just auto saves. 
I guess the last significant and important action I made was the um was watching the uh or listening to the thing. Hey, are you the new girl Sam? Okay, so this is like notes um being passed back and forth. I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. You I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. I'm new. What's up? I just thought that since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. So I thought that I'd ask <laughs> if you could be mine. Oh, do you mind? <laughs> I thought she was like, no, I'm good. I don't need you as a friend. <laughs> No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle that went psycho, or does it run the fa- Oh, God. So she's being bullied. Okay. Light? This feels like a very 90s den. Making friends. Sam, thought this might help. I don't think... Ugh. I feel like it's the worst thing you could give to a child. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry about having friends to spend time with again. This will, book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. I don't think she's shy. I think... People just aren't. Kids are just awful. I'm just putting things in a box because that's a thing I'm doing, apparently. Hauntings and poltergeists! Find out the truth! Behind stories that were familiar even to our pagan ancestors. Discover how to tell a hoax from a genuine haunting. How to categorize and understand strange phenomena you may encounter. Learn about the unhappy spirit that share the earth with us. And what they can teach us about our connection with the natural world. A dogwood paperback. room in the box. Oh, plate. Yeah. Yeah. The heaven at the edge of the... the heaven? Edge of the world? <laughs> this must be something that, uh... Her parents have kept from, like, early grades. Little story. I'm not going to read that one. You'll have to, uh... You'll have to buy the game yourself and uh, play it if, uh... You want to. Ape just labeled JFK. Can't pick it up. Okay. It's that book Dad wrote. The Accidental Savior. Oh! The, um... Uh, the, the thing in the, uh, in the study. The piece of paper where he was, like, brainstorming a title to this. 
That's when he came up with the accidental save here, which is what this is. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? High-class political thriller. By Mercury Books. Hi, Pyro. Eh. No. Eh. Punk. Grab matchbook. Punk. Grab candle. Punk. Oh, I forgot to read this. Hi, Terry. Enclosed, please find a Pioneer CLDD3703 unit, remote, and cables. You need a half a page review for the October. We need a half a page review for the October issue. That gives you about two weeks to get a copy for edit. Standard stuff like you gave us on the CLDD502. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as later the disc. And they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and TOS link stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Is that I assume that that's supposed to be like a VCR VCR or like combo oh combi it's a VCR uh, DVD player and I assume it's supposed to be here but it's not here for some reason. we get like fucking robbed or something Listing. X Files. Eh. Eh, in the box. Eh, in the box. Box is getting very full. Eh. Nope, can't pick that up. Grab coaster. Eh. That player. This no, that's not the that's not the thing that they uh, sent him. Oh, is this? Role model. It's a mixtape. I'm just going to leave that on. Let's see the rest of this house. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I'm just chaos gremlin right now. This. United States Department of Agriculture, U.S. National Forestry Manual. Okay, so this is Northwest Region Prescribed Burn Procedure uh, for controlled uh, controlled fires. Yeah, I assume that's our mother's book. Okay. It's a big fucking house, I gotta say. Maybe. Reproductive system worksheet. Oh, that sounds fun. Well, I'm sure she enjoyed that a lot. <sighs> okay. Well, if y'all want to read that, feel free to uh, pause and do so. Uh, that might be easier in the VOD than in the actual live performance, but... Live stream. Eh. Yes. Eh. 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 
Yeah. No, god damn it. No, give me the pen. Eh. Fuck you, textbook. Eh. Oh, it's a bar! Wow, they have a second study? This one has a bar? It's a giant fucking house. Read letter. This is back in 1976, so this would have been for your, fa for your great uncle, I think. I wrote to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publishing the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales in the second book have, in fact, been lower than those of the first, so our stewardship of the series must end here. It's been a pleasure working for you as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. That's a really nice way of saying fuck you. Yeah. Irish whiskey. Eh. Eh. It's Dr. Jitter. Eh, yeah, no. Eh. Yeah. This. Vodka. Triple distilled. Russia. A lot of fucking gloss, it's gotta say. Oh. The accidental pariah. Yep, his stuff did not sell well, apparently, based on the fact that he's a bunch of it. Oh no. And that's the original. Oh, these are all these are all just boxes of his books. Oh, and also lots of records for people who like records, I guess. Did I? Is that just the string? I think it's just. The string. No. Okay. I can't, like, pull down a painting and find, like, a secret passage or something, no. Yeah, a lot of this is... There's... Oh, for reference, Pyro, we are playing Gone Home. It is a fun, atmospheric game. It feels a bit spooky. It's not a horror game, so you don't have to worry if you're not good with horror. I am very not good with horror. But it's a game that I actually really love. So, Katie, please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Okay. Why is there stuff missing? Read note. Hi, Alani. So if you want to come over to my house still this afternoon, that'd be cool. I can drive. Kind of far, but I can drive. Oh, it's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6th. Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. Then I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready. I don't get you. No, oh, she made a friend. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic cut off. Okay, so we need to go to the attic. This door is locked. Okay, so that room is a trail of destruction that <laughs> that denotes I've been here. 
Okay, so with study, we have the closet here. We have our duck. So, oh, the bathroom there. Closet, and then this duck stay there. This is locked. I think it's just another closet. Key in your inventory and lock the door. You know what? Probably. Spare key that was hidden under the old Christmas duck. Can I use stuff from my inventory? The crouch, check items one, check map two. Can't like drag it or anything. I assume that if I could open it, it would use it automatically. So, duck. I'm just going to assume that. On duck. Oh, well, there's a piece of paper for a second. I was curious. Duck, stay here. One duck. I'll leave you here a second. Have to check out this area. Read newspaper clipping. Control burn schedule for Boone County. October 1st, 1994. Oh, so this is uh this is her her mother learning basically learning the ropes of the area in her as a conservation. Stem form. Notice of temporary personnel transfer. Bruce Pendleton, head of personnel. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective September 2nd, 94. Please see attached personnel file. The overseeing officer at Flintlock Forestry Station, senior conservationist Janice Greenbrier, our mother. Is charged with the supervision of transfer personnel. The duration of the transfer will be based upon performance about per, on performance evaluation, as well as the recommending of the overseeing officer. This is for the week of ninety-four. Well, we are in ninety-five now, so. Duck is blocking. Oh, cassette tape. Uh, oh, that works. That tape in question must be the one that we already played from, uh, that, that was in the, uh, study, the first study. The one that's called, that said role model on it. Read sternly worded letter, uh-oh. Whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Pair with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warm restrict guards, your daughter Samantha. There's so much, like, snark in there. <laughs> Daniel called. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Nope, you're not getting called back. 
Bam. Stop leaving lights on. Every damn light on in the house. Here's bad as your sister. Uh oh. I left like every light on. Actually, no, I did turn off the ones that weren't important. Ah, radiation area. This must be Sam's room. Yep. Yep, this is very. Oh, this is very 90s teen. Oh my gosh, the little uh, behind the door basketball net. String binder. Or set. Oh. Oh, I have to play it. <laughs> Adventures the cat return. I wonder which one of these games is Daniel's. I put this back here. Sonic Boom 90. Man, so I had this in like four. <laughs> Very cute. This. Holy Bible. Back you go. Grab collar. Mitten. Husband for their family cat. Got your number. Are you going to dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? Three to five players. I swear, I swear that, like, I've encountered games like this before in the real world. Not in a long time, but still. More reading stuff. Oh, okay. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their pages in their beepers. Oh my god, pagers. <laughs> but we're cooler than that because guess what? They can't put this in a beeper. Yeah. That is an awesome cat. Your drawing of cats was so good that I added a background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick stick to writing though. All oh, they had little cactuses. Haha, <laughs> I liked it. How did you know that they were about to be abducted by aliens? <laughs> aliens? Oh, aliens. I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, also like his secret shame is he watches Gonzolo religiously. Uh, I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats, and also he's never watched. Oh, ninety two one zero, not Gonzolo. <laughs> okay, ninety two one zero was a drama. I think in the early. I think in the early. Now, it wouldn't have been the early 2000s, because this is obviously not the early 2000s. But I could see in his eyes that he was lying. Oh, so we need a locker combination as well as a combination... Yeah. Is that us moving? For a second, I sw Okay, that must be us... Oh, it's us stepping on things, because, like, the uh, the height was changing. I was like, is the locker floating? 
that. Hold on. That looks like something. Uh, metal working no it's not a challenging assignment metal plaque for family portrait reasonable subject but not complex when I said that mom that mom and dad should be replaced with parent names I did not mean to add them underneath except for acceptable leveling leveling except for acceptable beveling on edges no more pride in work grade C minus Great brochure. This is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? So the black text is usually Sam, so this must have been to show to Lonnie. Grab Steggy. Oh, I like Steggy. Let's go, Steggy. Until your mama's back. Yes, I'm with you. Here, you can sit here with the tape. Have some stuff to look at first, okay? Okay. Oh, he sits up. He stands perfectly. Great this. Wait, she has two separate doors that enter her room? <laughs> it feels really weird. Art expedition. Ex exhibition, not expedition. Button. The Misfits. Grab Emery board. Oh, is this the thing that, like, you s Oh, no, this is for, um, for filing your nails. Okay. Wondering what that was. Tom Sawyer, Ben-Hur, The Jungle Books. Oh, so these are, like, all classics. For sure. Sam, I think this creative writing track would be perfect. Mrs. Blanchard. On the page. Three beyond the benefits of the program, three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship at, for their first year at Reed. Okay. So she's actually like, I mean, a, a writer, kind of like her father. It's rare that people follow in the footsteps of their parents, like, like, at, like naturally, without them like accosting them. They're like, you have to be a writer. Wait. Close. This. Read note. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last week, and then Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good, or we can make fun of him for liking it. Mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can't just ditch out on it, probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Haha, <laughs> see you then. There's a barfing hamburger. I should better differentiate their voices, but I don't really have voices for them. What's this? Bathroom. Okay, and someone's been murdered. No. Okay, so she dyed her hair semi-permanently. There.
Aww. Growing up. Okay, the duck's still here. Good. Has not been stolen. That's my preference. Earth, wind, and fire. April 22nd, 1984. Or 82. Kitsap County Fairgrounds. Music for the planet. That sounds very Woodstock. This. Verse. Some book. Card. Ah, postcard from us. And another Bible. They really don't have... A shortage of them, that's for sure. Mom, can you, like, close your doors, please? It always looks so bad when you... Oh, that's a con. <laughs> I like that when you when you uh, mouse over it, it says, Oh, barf. <laughs> I... Dude, like, close your, your drawers, please. And I'm going to open them just again to just check, but like, come on, mom. Dad, or whoever the fuck this is. I guess this, I mean, this would be both their rooms, I guess. Makes sense. That. Demon bookmark. Timberline booksellers. Take your time. It's glad, I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. Okay, so there's another message from Carol. Uh, I'm not going to read that. I really... <laughs> this cursive really is hard to read. I don't want to torture myself unless it's like... I don't know. It seems important. Watercolor technique. For florals and still lives. Someone was learning watercolor. Ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. This is, uh, um, this is a parody of, uh, Escape from Haunted House on the Hill, or Escape from House on the Hill or something. That's a very good game. Very complicated game, but a very good one nonetheless. That's a big bathroom. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse sec personally, spiritually, sexually. Okay. Gonna. Oh, it just says ugh. <laughs> yeah, fair. No one wants to think of their parents in that way. Oh, wait. I'm a good girl. I turn off the lights. I left some lights on, but those were intentionally left on. Cassidy, all the presents, and why is there no VCR here either? I if I feel like there's supposed to be VCRs in multiple places in this house, and they're just not here, and that feels significant somehow. I don't think we're gonna need to go back in there, to be honest. Uh, so we came from that way. We went into the rooms here, and we went into the bathroom and the hall. So we have this. Uh, that looks spooky. Sam's darkroom. Do not enter if red lights are on. Attic is locked. Turn on lights. This. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest bedroom for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't actually around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay. I think Sam has left. For good. I mean, 
based on the fact that she says she won't be needing her room anymore, and she started by saying, I'll see you again someday. Uh, I assume that something has happened to her. Obviously of her own free will, but, like, I don't know. This is what technically should be our room. Mantha Greenbrier, Ghost Hunting Journal. <laughs> All shadow in the upstairs hall. I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Os Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Number third, four days, four days later, faint, faint voice comes from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate. Carly was the furnace. Six days later, poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. The milk was bought yesterday. Also, ghost milk. Woo! Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Oh, that was the uh, little pillow fort, the haunting uh, book downstairs. October 22nd. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a Ouija board as a medium. Irving messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in that attic. Possibly leaky roof. Sample taken, just in case. St despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, successful night. <laughs> That's cute. Note. Hey, Sam, you were asking about what my something ribbons mean. Here is a handy guide. Orienteering rifle team. Oh, so this is like a uh, uh, okay, so this is like something army related, I guess. I guess one of them is going through basic training. There's this room, which I assume is the watercolor studio. Yeah, so that's why that's the book we found earlier with the watercolor stuff. Tape deck. Sam and form, performance evaluation. Oh, this is the evaluation for the ranger that was transferred uh, under our mother's hair. I give them a note. Halloween show. Man, imagine if we were playing this on Halloween. Aww, that's so cute. I'm glad she found some fr a friend to with someone who like obviously like has her back. That's good. She obviously did not have enough of that. Heavens to Betsy, nothing can stop me.
Ah, uh, yes, the chair room. This isn't, like, really fucking spooky at all. Uh. Oh, this is the room lit up. These rooms are not well lit. Healthy choices. Skills for a healthy life. Okay. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage, and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I've got to see this. We're skipping six, period. Okay, hold on a second. Mom and Dad's room cl- Oh! So we need to go- Oh, so we do need to go back to Mom and Dad's room. Uh, what? Uh. Oh. Oh, she was making a, a duo costume with uh, Lonnie. I was, for a second, I was like, is their mother into like some role play or something? <laughs> this just uh, the tape box or heaven to Betsy. I saved her from the raging flames, and then things really heated up. Wildfire. Ah, this is her. This is their mother's book. They just really liked D and D. I mean, that's fair. You could do like some cool Ren Fair shit. But they're they're dressing up for Halloween. Or I guess they they went out for Halloween, maybe? I mean, actually, it's June now, so yeah, no, that's long, long past. In-game it's June, I mean. So we can't go up there yet. We need to go back to our parents' room. This room. Open pen. What? God, I love secret passages. It's so fucking cool. Oh. Lots of fashion stuff. Have some more light, please. I'd really like to be able to see this stuff better. Everyone's a winner. Huh. Wonder what these are all for. Maybe it's just because I'm me, but I feel like if these things were left by uh, the original owner, the uh, great uncle, I'm wondering if he was, like, very gay and this was, like, his hidden, um, his hidden area where he could, like, look at clothing or whatever and be like, ah, I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know. This was, I mean, that would be a very repressed time. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Crucifix. Uh, damn it. Fucking hell. Whatever. Okay. Ghost Hunter. Ghost Hunter. Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation. Log. Log. Okay. <laughs> Hidden compartments found. Three. Library, upstairs, hall, foyer. Evidence of the supernatural. Covered zero. Search continues. Hidden compartments found in the library, upstairs, and the foyer. Apartments marked the map. Can I please have the light again? Faulty wire. Yeah. Stupid faulty wiring. Okay. 
This is the foyer here. Where are these hidden compartments? I assume... I call it the study, and this is a study, but I think this is the foyer. Secret passage complete with faulty lighting. Add that to the house listing. I agree. You know what, can I... I can probably put chat on screen, actually. Yeah, I can put chat on screen. I just didn't want to put too, too much going on screen, because, like, I, I want this game to kind of be presented as is, since it's very atmospheric. The Misfits. Oh, that's really cool. So they were, like, using the secret compartments to, like, hide their stuff. Our gay babies are growing up. Now you probably know why I like this. You're falling in love. Okay, where are the secret passages? Not secret passages. This panel? There's the panel. Private, do not read. Heaven at the Edge of the World, The Green Glacier, Part 2. This is a ninth grade reading assignment. Okay, I should... Okay, I'm going to read this one. So the, the Captain Allegra was like a... Uh little, uh, like, a pirate captain story that seems to have developed with Sam throughout her life. And she, as she's grown up, she's become better and better able to it, articulate it. Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branch. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner icy walls of the glacial basin at, in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such a lushness juxtapos juxtaposed with a frigid, icy formation. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branch. First mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry! Allegra's party followed behind, moving quickly as a breeze through the... Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted, no, and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell towards the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, the hands, and the body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate, he, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. 
Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, That is the love of my life, and you can't have her. Ah! So she made the characters originally, like, like a long, long time ago, and now that she's, like, kind of coming into her own, and she's like, yeah, I'm definitely gay, she's started to incorporate that, and now she's written, like, her headcanon as to how she's able to change her characters to fit what she wants, as well as this now fits the uh, uh, Halloween... Um, uh, the Halloween costume that she was going to do with Lonnie, or that she did with Lonnie, because uh, she was Allegra, and I believe Lonnie was the first mate. We saw the uh, um, we saw the outfit upstairs, it, just off of the uh, watercolor room. Take combo two scrap. Property of Sam, private. Oh, that's the locker combo. Okay. So there should be a... I need to go into Dad's office. Wait, no. This was already the one we got. Got that one. Okay, we need to go back upstairs. Actually, I should close the door. You know, you don't want to leave a secret passage door open. That'd be silly. That's weird. Oh! Oh! A oh, door that slides into the wall. That is very weird. Okay, so we're on the second floor now. So we're standing here. Does that mean it's one of these panels? Here it is. Oh, the Ouija board. Humble strap two. Complete combination of Sam's locker and the backpack. Hello? Hello? Who are you? I'm back. <laughs> They're having fun. There's nothing like the old trick to, uh, like, you play a game that's scary with someone that you really like so that, like, you can have an excuse to hold on to them, like, oh, it's so scary. Oh, wait, I need the, to actually know the combination. 0501. I do love that style of door, though. Never have to worry about opening a door into someone's face by accident. Yeah, that makes sense. It just doesn't make a huge amount of sense um, architecturally, though, because, like, it's pretty... It's hard to hide a door in a wall, like, depending on what's on the other side of it. But, I mean... Works, it works. Yay! Aw, picture of Lonnie. Basement key! I need that. Ah, she's very aware that she's gay now. Oh, wrong thing. Yes! <laughs> Aww. Our gabies are growing up. Oh, that's so cute. One of the reasons I love this particular game. Okay, so we have the basement key now, so we're going to head down to the basement.
Wait, no, hold on a second. I forgot. Duck. Christmas duck, you stand guard here. No. 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 I don't think you understand the whole stand thing. No. No. Stand up! <laughs> no. Sure. Good enough. Okay. Uh, I... Basement. Is this not the basement door? Wait, I'm in the wrong place. The, uh, the basement door is way over there. I don't know why, but it's really weird to me that this this doorway does not have a door. It makes sense since this is a den, but it just feels weird. I don't know. But this is the basement here. Okay, so you don't have to like know the uh, you don't have to like grab the key out of your inventory. You just need to use. Walls? That weird paneling find in like old houses. Or houses that are old to me, I guess. Have chips. Yeah, chips. Yeah, chips! Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank, cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the flavor for potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for, the, for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. Quite. <laughs> the Pringles man. Dear Mrs. DeSoto, Allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate, following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was more than enjoyable for the two events. Was was the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially enjoyed the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha Greenbrier, Esquire. <laughs> this. Ah! It's so cute. Ah, it's so cute! <laughs> <sighs> okay, what else is here? Besides a supreme lack of light. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. Wait, this is literally the exact same thing that... Uh, <laughs> this is the exact same assignment that uh, Sam had. Yet another reason why you should update curriculums. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
Loki. Everett. I feel like it's a real furnace company. Take a picture. Has everything been fine with the uh, voice acting uh, uh, volume and such? I assume that everything is still fine. I haven't really messed with anything. Books. Got even more books? You have so many books already. Well, this is one of Grandad's books. Joyce, the, Joyce a complete understanding. Richard Greenbrier. Okay, good. Just double checking. Reed College. Oh, that was the college that uh, her uh, uh, that Sam's teacher suggested she uh, apply to. Congratulations! I'm pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of Reed College summer program for young scholars for its 1995 session. I believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community. Based on your portfolio and academic record, I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the pro summer program's tuition and fees. The attached document delineates your schedule, optional secondary track choices, and your dormitory assignments. Please remember to submit the attached forms if you wish to be eligible for one of the three Reed full-time undergraduate scholarships be awarded to ex exemplary students at the end of each summer program. We very much look forward to your attendance. Again, congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all of us at Reed College. Sincerely, Billy Morris, Director of Admissions. That's sad. Monday, March 3rd, 1959. Masson's Pharmacy Soda Fountain welcomes Boone County Youngster. Ah, so this was uh, her great uncle. Uh, her great uncle's pharmacy. One who left the house to them. Feels like there should be something behind this. There's yet another guest bedroom. Lick Bell? Oh, this isn't a guest bedroom. These are servants' quarters. That's what this is. I guess that kind of makes sense for, like, the era this was probably built, because... Oh. Oh, boy. Study, library, music room, living room, closet. And that's the area on the right is the area that we haven't been to. Yeah, kitchen. We have yet another combination we need. Harry H. Oh my gosh, this must have been uh, the... Uh, they must have gone over to uh, their uncle's house a lot for Thanksgiving, because this is Terry, her father, at age 12. Like, his different heights. That's cute. Oh, this is just a wood room. Extra wood. Makes sense.
Girl Scout. Self. Pet list. Role model, authority, main squeeze. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is uh, their uh, mixed list type set. Aww. So it looks like we have a message here from Mexico. I assume where uh where Lonnie has uh shipped out to do some more training. Yolanda. Oh, so I guess that's what Lonnie is short for. Yolanda. Oh boy. Okay. Today's Spanish lesson. Okay, I'm not going to read that. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to attempt to. I don't want to butcher that. Dear Sam, I am so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think, probably. The nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them, and then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together, and I've started thinking of you. I lie here in bed, and I almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't... I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got me... got to me the day before we started driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Lonnie. Who am more? I assume my love. This. Oh, another page here. It's like a drug. The first time was in my room in the middle... <laughs> oh yeah okay so it it is your it is her sister i guess it makes sense that she doesn't want to read that <laughs> oh i like the personality of this game i really do oh yeah i guess it's hard to close the door if you're standing in the way of that's mom's citizenship stuff a bit of naturalization Oh, she was from Canada, originally. Whoa, lots of newspapers. Is they're for burning, or maybe they're just like archive or something? Mason Pharmacy. January to June. Oh, ledger, so these are like the records. Postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing you from Something Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit, here you are. Uh oh, Lonnie. <laughs> That's cute.
Oh my god. Yeah, 1995, not a good time to be gay in the States. Or really anywhere. Uh, oh! Your passage. What's this first? Paper clipping. Mason's Pharmacy changes hands. First world, the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for long. When asked about speculation of the deal that was signed for as little as $1, um, Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar Mason's longtime assistant, now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy, told the register, the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for comment. Maybe he gifted it over, or it was like a hostile takeover while his boss was too sick to do anything. Who knows? Oh, that's the same thing. This is back. Okay, so... Anything else to do in here before I go through the passage? I don't think so. I already went through there. Okay. Passageway! Eerie green light. There's an eerie green light. We're in the middle of a murder basement. It's like a place that you go to murder someone. Because why else would you have it here in the basement where no one can find you or hear you scream? Where's this go? Uh, wherever it goes, it looks like it's boarded up. Oh, the handle. Oh my gosh, I knew that! Mm. I was like, there's gotta be something here! When I was looking at the, uh, at the, uh, bookcase. Oh my gosh, okay, that's cool. God, I want, I want a house full of, full of, uh, secret passages. It'd be so fucking cool. Okay, so we have weird basement stuff. Costumes, skeletons, and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie. Okay. Psycho house girl. Cool stuff of being about being the psycho house girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinks you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral... I assume peripheral vision. Peripheral costumes now. That's a lot. Oh, these are like little snippets of the um, the uh, the tapes that she recorded for us. Yeah, so I kind of I get why Sam's on here. Where the fuck? Where the fuck is uh? It's your family. Okay, appreciate the time, dear Mr. Greenbrier, appreciate the effort, the time and effort you put into writing this letter. Good initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind on this matter. Well, I understand that Mr. Soto is a friend of yours. The fact of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in the incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there have been no convincing as evidence to, as to who has defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring one wanted attention to yourself, which I believe is what you claim to begin claim began this whole incident in the first place. Principal Sheldon Grossman. Yeah. Yeah, he is a gross man.
Uh, the happy parts of uh, of the romance seem to be starting to pass now, and we're getting into the trouble of just shit happening in life. Oh. Wait, where the fuck am I now? Who the fuck am I? Oh, this is the place we couldn't get to. Client's name, style, oh, whatever. Eat. Textbook. Offer promotion. Uh... Uh, her mother was offered promotion. Hi, Lonnie. Sorry mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like you're not a member of the family. She knows... You're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her out on it, and I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I I know she's just jealous of our cool, freewheeling lifestyles. Yeah, I don't think our mother's a very happy person, just based on the like, the like reinvigorating your life sexually and spiritually. Yeah, I, I don't think she's a happy person. <laughs> I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. <laughs> Fair. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? No! <laughs> Fair. Broth. Lots of old school music references and stuff. Probably be useful if I knew anything about uh, that sort of thing. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Civic Auditorium. Five. This is Earth, Wind, and Fire. There was a poster for that uh, um, in their parents' room. Another one of the postcards I sent. I admit I'm not too. I don't really care too much about the 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 Sam lore. I mostly just care about the. Uh, or sorry, I don't care too much about the Katie lore. I just care about the Sam lore. Hi Jan, I got two tickets to EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want wants wants so. For taste in music, rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket, and I thought you might be interested. More than, more fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick. Okay, so that's the new guy that she trained. I have a feeling he's trying to get in with her because she's not particularly happy in her marriage. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, there's like an outdoor area. Alright, extra plates. Is there a disciplinary referral? Distributing inappropriate materials on school... Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. This is... This is definitely the social activism, and she's getting in trouble for it from... Stupid people. Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I put are putting into writing that we're yeah putting this in writing so we're absolutely clear you're grounded for the rest of the month from for social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except for going to and from school. We're under we understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue this kind of behavior at school. 
clearly once your privileges are reinstated we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie's at the house this the last word on okay so they're gross homophobes oh no Gross. 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 Well, we know why she bailed, because her parents are tools. I didn't get this. That was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. Sent a present. That's cute. Any, like, hidden panels. What sound? Washer? Whatever. This is a very loud refrigerator. Gem schedule working at Crown Burger. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honor of your presence at the marriage for daughter Helen Margaret to Mr. Richard Mark Adder Notch. I wait. When? Fourth of June, nineteen hundred ninety-five. All past four o'clock in the afternoon. June fourth. It's June fifth right now, so they're off at a wedding. That's where the parents are. Okay. Ah, uh, his attempt to make another book. Oh. That jump scared me. There's a lot more sad to this game than I was than I remember. Congratulations on your new position, Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier. Okay, so your mother is now a director.
anniversary trip from the third to the seventh. Okay, so they're not going to be home for another few days. Katie comes home this month with, we'll call with exact date. So it is the 5th today. So there's going to be another two, two or three days until they're actually home. Something I missed, though. Nope, okay, I thought that was something. Okay, so this is, like, area... Uh, dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I feel, I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. You know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We Traffic in the weird, the ahead of the time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged-in bibliophiles type of out-there mass-marketing shunned visionary expression that refuses to ta be taken on by anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like, okay. Oh! Reviving zombie-like timeless works such as Message of the Snake Man, It's Inside Me, and often banned Venusian Flesh Traders. But since we discovered tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird, dark, American outsider art. It's just the kind of forgotten portal into the 20th century civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick-swinging heroes that modern suburban Americans want, but John Russell, mild-mannered insurance, insurance agent by day, reckless history-revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint this work, since your original publisher, Mercury Books, pulled it a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for this book to appear in the brand new editions of The Accidental Savior and The Accidental Pariah, to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We want to offer you a portion of the proceeds, contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along for this weird odyssey. Yeah, I mean... It's his book. Of course he wants a portion. You should be asking for a portion. <laughs> we look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting our work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Last off. Unknown publishing. Unknown dimension publisher. You know... I was happy that he, like, I would have been happy that he was doing well if it wasn't for the fact he's a raging fucking homophobe. So now he can just go die. Oh, so this is the new version. Or, like, the new cover. This. Oh, that's already on. Okay. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, 3rd to 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on our way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-reno. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Good. Dad. Get the sense that she's going to be better than good after a little while. Brown burger. Ask me about clown combos. Oh god. Couple note. Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. 
Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is much warmer. Sam, we should defile your we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show. Them. Lonnie, you were gross. Never change. Oh, that's that's really funny. And like at least a little bit warranted. <laughs> Light. Light. Don't really know where to go next, I admit. I don't know what I haven't seen yet. Oh, this probably... There, this, okay, there's a... Uh, And I think I went all the way over here with everything. Right? Yeah, okay. So I think there's more down the hall to look at, I guess. I still don't have a way to unlock the attic, so... I guess this is where we're going. Oh! Did I open this, or was this already open? I think this was already open. Booted out. A going away show for Lonnie DeSoto. Girl Scout. Last show ever. Saturday, June 3rd at the Tonic. Oh. Oh no. That's so sad. <sighs> Bathroom. Bathroom. Cook risotto. Ten days. Pizza on a weeknight? Yeah. Go crazy! My god. I'm gonna turn the faucet on because I'm a nuisance. Aha! Your water bill will suck. What is this? Oh, laundry room. You have a lot of clothes. It's a big fucking house. Washer, okay. Close washer. Grab softener. Okay. Eh. Wait, no. That's that's the washer. That's stupid. I shouldn't put the softener in the washer. Put it in the dryer. I think. I don't actually know what cold softener. Oh. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known this is where I'd end up. I've I had never thought of it in any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college, you're a famous writer and I can rebuild the tank engine with my eyes closed. Things will be different. And we can be together. Till then. Bonnie. Oh, so this is the room we saw from in the kitchen. Little greenhouse area. It's really cool. It's a huge, huge house, I gotta say. Manuscript. The accidental human. 
That must be his attempt at a third book. Strong Pines, a couple's counseling retreat. Oh, no. June 3rd to 7th. Oh, they're not going on a honeymoon. They're going for a couple's retreat. Because they're not happy. Well, I mean... I don't think you can both be a homophobe and be happy, so... That tracks. Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you said that Unknown Dimension isn't the business of isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you might find intriguing. It is reflective, introspective, without forgetting the excitement and the weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I'm grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terence L. Greenbrier. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since... John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future, of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when the familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you saved this time will be your own. <laughs> Seven map. Oh, that's so sad. <sighs> We're nearing the end of the game now. It's not a very long game. Uh... I'm going to go on a short intermission, take your time to stretch, get some water, bathroom break, etc. We'll be back in about five minutes, and then we will complete Gone Home. See you soon. Welcome back, everyone, to Gone Home. Everyone's still alive and kicking? What are y'all's thoughts on uh, the game so far? If you have any. Glad. It is a game I, I really do care about, so I'm happy to be able to show it off. It is a very good game. If if you do have like some spare change, it is worth spending a little bit of money on buying it. I don't think it's that expensive.
Let's see. Uh, it's nineteen. It, it's it's uh about eighteen dollars, uh, American. Off sale. It, it's worth it. It's a very good game. Okay, so there's a secret door. Under the stairs by the foyer. I guess that's where we head. Can't go outside, so I wouldn't want to go outside anyways. Severe weather warning. Oh yeah. I left the water on. <laughs> I'll turn that off. Okay. So there's a secret passage right here. Yeah. Oh man, this is cool. I like this. Grab photo. Oh, that that's a picture of the uh uh the great grandfather. <laughs> Grab name tag. Awesome. Oh. One of his possessions. Grab book. Possession and exorcism. Interacting with the supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Had a key, yes. Where's the board? There's the board. Okay. Now to go to the attic, finally. Oh, we can just climb it. Okay. Expected to be like an interact, but. Check on things. Oh, cute. Oh, little place to sleep. I like these like kind of turret style things in houses. They're them. I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong, kick ass. I love you. Funny. I got chills. I'm so happy. Aww. Picture of them holding hands with their locket. A bottle.
what that is. Oh, those are the uh, the the stripe colors on her her lapel on her army gear. And then one of their eyes. This. Master photographic page. Photo paper. Letters to Katie. This is a very, very good game. Oh, they had achievements. Gone home. Completed the game. There are lots of other... The only achievement. Others. Oh, there's other stuff to find. Well, if you want to hear everything else, and find out more about Captain Allegra. Rent to buy the game yourself, and play it. It'll be worth it. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me. 
I wanted something like mildly spooky and atmospheric to play tonight. It's not my usual stuff, but it's it's a game that I that I have a lot of feels for. It's a very cute story, and it has some some sucky bits like life, but it made me really happy the first time I played through it, and made me happy again. Thank you to the devs, really. Thank you for making this game. They touch on some hard subjects, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the curve. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I was going to make an announcement for the stream. Uh, I don't know... <sighs> I'm going to be moving just this Thursday stream because we have the Crangled Passives uh, event that's coming up on Friday, late Friday. I don't know when we'll be like able to actually get into the game, and I want to be able to jump in fairly early. Um, so... I'm thinking of either moving the, uh, the next stream to Friday or Saturday. Uh, probably Saturday afternoon is what I'm thinking. Afternoon in EST. So, that might be what we're doing. I will post on the Discord about what we're going to do, and I will change... I will we'll add something to the stream schedule as well. For when I decide what we're, when we're actually going to be doing it. But we are going to uh, be doing something for the Crangled Passives. I do want to uh, definitely play that, because it's going to be really fun. And for it, I'm hoping to do a play with the fans kind of thing. I'm going to be opening up the Discord for anyone who wants to join. Well, I mean, anyone can join whenever they want, but uh, y'all uh, y'all are welcome to come join the Discord. And during that event, I'm going to be in voice chat, so you can join in and play along together. Or you can just join in the uh, public party that I'm going to be making at the time, and we can all level together. At least, that's kind of what the plan is. I'll give more information later as to what uh, as to what we're going to actually be doing. But uh, it'll either be Friday night or Saturday afternoon plan. I'm leaning towards Saturday, though, because uh, I don't really trust that uh, the servers will be up and functional for, like, when the event launches. The uh, Path of Exile servers have been super, super unstable lately. There's been a lot of problems. So I want to be kind of careful and like give it enough time so that maybe I'm not in the initial rush. At least that's what I'm kind of thinking, so... I will post again. I'll post an update on the Discord and uh, suggest uh, you keep an eye out for that. Uh, yesterday, uh, so I I have another video that's going to be coming out in a few minutes. Uh, yesterday, I put out a uh, Cortex video. If y'all want to uh, take a chance to look at that, I just uh, go through and defeat. Uh, uh, Venarius, the Cortex boss, one of the achievements you need to do for the uh, to unlock a favored map slot. I'm just working on finishing up my goals for this league because this league is starting to wind down. I'm I'm like surprised. It kind of took me by it took me by surprise because I I've just been just enjoying the league and uh, I guess it is kind of running out of time. I do intend to keep playing it, though. I might stop playing the main league while the uh, Crangle Passives event is going, 
but I I do want to keep playing in general. And I probably will continue to do that. I mean, yeah, I'll be I'll be streaming it twice a week, so <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for everyone who is here and has been here. I appreciate you coming to this. It was a bit of a departure from our usual stuff, but it's something that's kind of near and dear to me. So thank you. I appreciate y'all time that uh, you've given me tonight to uh, visit this. So thank you. Have a great night, everyone, and I'll see you on, let's just say Saturday. I'll see you on Saturday. Night.